He is Formula One's hottest free agent. In the last two months, have been a roller coaster for Carlos Sainz. Life sometimes is crazy, you know. It began on the 1st of February, when Sainz learned he would be losing his seat at Ferrari to seven-time champion Lewis Hamilton in 2025. Five weeks later, Sainz missed the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix after having surgery for appendicitis. Yet, two weeks after that, the 29-year-old shocked everyone by winning the Australian Grand Prix. It's a Ferrari 1-2 in Australia. It's victory for Carlos Sainz. The victory represented more than just his third career win. Australia proved Carlos Sainz can be one of the sport's elite and that he may just hold all the cards in one of the most tumultuous marketplaces in years. I can just tell you I'm extremely happy, uh, not only because of these last two weeks, but because of how difficult this year has been so far. So what are science's best options? Let's begin with the most complicated one, Red Bull Racing. Sainz has been Max Verstappen's teammate before in the past, back in 2015 at Toro Rosso. While Red Bull is clearly F1's best car, it's hard to believe Sainz would want to be the team's secondary driver. If Verstappen were to shock everyone and leave Red Bull, it could be a perfect fit. But as long as Verstappen is there, it's his team. And for a driver yearning to be number one, it's not Sainz's best option. So let's look at his top three choices. Audi is poised to take over Sauber in 2026. It's believed they would love to have Sainz as a driver to build around. Carlos has a relationship with team boss Andreas Seidel from their days at McLaren. However, if race wins are valuable to Sainz, which I believe they are, this team is still a ways off, not likely to challenge for titles or race victories anytime soon. At the moment, both seats at Aston Martin are spoken for, and Mike Crack is on record saying Fernando Alonso is still his first option. However, Alonso is unpredictable at the best of times, and if Fernando goes elsewhere or opts for retirement, Aston Martin could be a good fit. A midfield team on the rise, rich in resources, and with an ambitious owner who wants to win. Sainz's best current option is without a doubt, Mercedes. A championship pedigree with a high profile vacancy. Given their recent struggles, I don't think Total Wolf wants to put a rookie in that seat. And while George Russell, he's been a great fit, he's hardly proven himself as an unequivocal number one, meaning Sainz can compete for that spot and potentially be a number one driver equipped with a competitive car. It's amazing. Thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Unbelievable. Ah. Wherever Sainz ends up, I wouldn't expect a decision anytime soon. With major shifts happening in F1's landscape, for the first time in his career, Sainz is in an advantageous position, an opportunity to pick his spot, carve his future, and make the most of his current situation as Formula One's hottest free agent.